Hey guys, as promised, here's a video on covering what Mopar unveiled at the SEMA show yesterday. They had been teasing this for a while, like they do every year, with a picture of what looks to be a Challenger covered up. As always, Mopar goes on stage to reveal their new stuff at 7.26 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, which is also 4.26 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, to pay tribute to their 4.26 Hemi engines. Last year, Mopar was focused on showing off their new 426 Hemi crate engine with 1,000 horsepower and 950 pound-feet of torque. And to demonstrate how that could be used, they built a beautiful 1968 Dodge Supercharger concept, fusing heritage and modern styling together. That was for last year, and now for 2020, Dodge got us excited yet again by revealing their new 4th generation Dodge Challenger drag pack, of which you'll see plenty of photos and videos on screen. I'll start by recapping the press conference, and then we'll go into the drag pack details. Mopar always likes to bring many different concepts to their lineup at the SEMA show, and show them off, and I think they're very interesting, and I do want to have another video covering those this week, as this video is more dedicated to just the Challenger drag pack. But to recap those concepts, first for Jeep, there was a 2019 Jeep J6 concept, based off of the Jeep Gladiator, that mixes classic 70s Gladiator styling with current Jeep performance parts. And there was also a heritage-inspired Jeep JT Scrambler that throws back to the look of the 1980s CJ8 Scrambler. Ram also got two truck concepts, starting with the 1968 Dodge D200 Mopar Lowliner concept. So that took a 1968 Dodge Heavy Duty pickup frame with a lowered and lengthened wheelbase, and they also stuck a 5.9 liter Cummins diesel engine under the hood. And the second was the 2020 Ram 1500 Rebel OTG concept, or that also stands for Off the Grid, built specifically for off-road capabilities and overlanding. Finally, Dodge also talked about the Mopar 19 Dodge Challenger Edition, of which they built just 100 of, 90 for the US and 10 for Canada. This is the 10th edition of these limited vehicles, and Mopar has built one every year since the launch of the 2010 Mopar 10 Challenger RT. Now let's get into the actual video topic, the 2020 Dodge Challenger Drag Pack, which returns five years after the last version and two years after development began. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the new fourth generation Dodge Challenger Drag Pack. Because yeah. our track only purpose built drag car representing our continued commitment to keeping sportsman drag racers competitive. It's engineered for grassroots racers competing in NHRA and NMCA sportsman classes. The simple goal, to give our drivers a shot at winning at every quarter mile run. <laughs> The Mopar Drag Pack started back in the early 1960s with the factory production of Max Wedge package cars, and in 1968 the 426 Hemi powered cars were taken to the drag strip. This 2020 version will compete in the 2020 NHRA production car showdown, and the car is certified for National Hot Rod Association and National Muscle Car Association competitions, but it's not going to be street legal. As I said, this is the fourth gen for the drag packs. The first modern drag pack was launched in 2009 with the choice of the 5.7 or 6.1 liter Hemis or a 360 cubic inch Magnum Wedge V8. A redesign followed in 2011 with an available 6.4 liter Hemi and a V10. The third gen in 2015 introduced a supercharged 354 Hemi and a naturally aspirated 426 Hemi. And now we have the fourth gen for 2020 with just a 354 Hemi available. Mark Bosanic, who is the head of Mopar North America, talked more about the car, saying, quote, Mopar and Dodge slash SRT collaborated to make this factory production-based Challenger drag pack not only a force to be reckoned with at the strip, but also an instant collectible for Mopar enthusiasts. Our legacy has been one at the track by the women and men who pour all they have into being the best. This new Challenger drag pack gives them the tools to stay in front of the competition, end quote. So as for details, first off, unfortunately we don't know the pricing, but it is expected to be over $100,000. We also don't know the exact power numbers, however I'm hearing that horsepower is rumored to be over 1500. 
Mopar did say it's going to be more powerful than the last version, which was capable of 1200 horsepower. We also don't know exactly how fast this can go, but the last drag pack could do a quarter mile in 7.6 seconds, so this is likely going to be even faster. This is also going to be a series collector's item, as Mark said, with just 50 manufactured, each with a serialized plaque. Bosanic also said this car was built to mimic the look of the SRT Challenger, and as such they used the 2020 Challenger Hellcat front and rear fascias, and the 2015-2018 heat extractor hood. The graphics package is similar to the design of the muscle car drag racers from the 1960s and 70s, with a white painted body and a single wide blue stripe running throughout the car, with red pinstripes on either side. There's a blue band running along the lower portion side of the body, and a graphics package with the blue Mopar logo and drag pack lettering that wraps around the rear of the car. Mark Trossel, who is the head of performance, and also passenger car utility vehicle design for FCA North America, talked about this design, saying, quote, We want this to look so cool that when the customer buys a Challenger drag pack, he or she wants to run these graphics because they are so iconic and stand out. Mopar people are proud of the heritage and the look and they want to show that off." End quote. Building these drag packs starts with a standard with Dodge Challenger, body in white, built at the FCA assembly plant in Brampton, Ontario. Then an SFI specification welded roll cage is integrated into the body, and that roll cage is rated for quarter mile runs as fast as 7.5 seconds. Along with the roll cage, wheelie bars and a parachute that mount to the chassis are installed. There's a strange engineering 9-inch rear axle assembly that gets connected to the transmission with a lightweight drive shaft, giving power to the rear wheels. Up front there are Bilstein double adjustable struts and adjustable coilover shocks, while in the rear there's a 4-link suspension with wishbone and an anti-roll bar. And these drag packs were tested in FCA's wind tunnel, achieving trap speeds of over 170 miles per hour. Under the hood, the only option is a supercharged 354 cubic inch 5.8 liter V8, again with the output unknown thus far. This engine has Holly Dominator fuel injection and a newly developed supercharger. This beastly Hemi gets paired with a turbo hydromatic 400 three speed racing transmission with a quick shift manual shifter. There's a Race Pack Smart Wire fully programmable PCM that comes unlocked and fully customizable meaning that customers can diagnose electrical problems safely and quickly, and also cut power to various systems when not needed, so as not to drain performance. And a revised engine cross member lowers the center of gravity. As for the wheels, Dodge now has a partnership with Weld Racing, using Weld V-Series 17-inch wheels up front, and Weld Alpha 1 15 by 10 inch double beadlock wheels in the back. All the wheels are gloss black and have Weld and Drag Pack branding on them. Wrapped around the wheels are going to be 30-inch Mickey Thompson drag radials, and other features include race tech seats and front and rear lightweight racing brakes. As for some extra info, Mopar top fuel driver Leah Pritchett won the 2018 NHRA Factory Stock Showdown World Championship, collected three wins, and also recorded the first official seven-second run in the class with the third-gen drag pack. And Jeff Turk also drove a Challenger drag pack at the 2018 NMCA Factory Supercars World Championship, also posting the first official 7 second run in that class. So that's the end of this video guys, thanks for watching and hopefully you enjoyed it, I really tried to give you guys every detail possible. What do you think about the 2020 Challenger drag pack? Let me know in the comment section below. And also let me know if you do want to see a more detailed video on all those other concepts that Mopar is bringing to the SEMA show. Make sure to like and subscribe for more Mopar content, and I'll see you in the next video.